Toxie Hayes, and uh, my dad, Fox Hayes, and my sons, Daniel and Neil Hayes. That's three generations of us. Close to 90 years worth of uh, living, and every bit of it has been grounded in the land, the farm, the wildlife, the habitat, and more than anything, taking care of it. It makes you realize how much more important your connection with the earth is than just shooting ducks. There's something so much deeper. You start to get a little later in life and you realize how important it is and how God made us to connect with nature and all this wonders he created. Dad, it's just always, ever since we've uh, you know, been following him in the woods, it's always just been about managing the land, having it as good as it possibly can be for the habitat, for the wildlife, and so that our whole family who you know, love the outdoors so much can enjoy it. You know, it was his life dream. He always wanted a piece of land that he could call his own, and you know, he's lucky enough now to have a piece of land more than he could imagine that he can call his own. We got into hunting because our granddad and our dad did it. It's something you have to learn, but you have to have someone to teach you. And, and, and you know, if we want hunting to grow as a sport, uh, the only way to do that is basically for our generation to keep on doing what our dads and our granddad's generations have done for forever now. You know, I don't know anyone who cares more about looking after wildlife and planting trees and uh, managing habitat and taking those that he loves uh, to enjoy it all. It's, it's what he lives for. It fills so much in my heart, this love for the outdoors and all that comes with it and spending time with the people I love outdoors. And as the gamekeepers, we want to help people create a life of abundance and abundance in you know, their wildlife. We're not in a major flyway where we are. We're not far from one, but we're not in a major, major flyway here. We're on the eastern side of Mississippi. So we've had to develop uh, you know, a destination for our waterfowl. And whether you've got you know, 10 acres or 100 acres or 1,000 acres, just having something to go tend to, and you will see the rewards. You just, it's a personal thing, but in today's world, it's more important than ever that we have a reverence and a respect and an obsession for taking care of the land. Hunting with Daniel and, and Dad, it really is a lot of fun. We've, you know, we've been duck hunting together, you know, every year since we were about six years old, and uh, and there hasn't been a year go by where we haven't hunted together. So um, we've had we've shared some incredible duck hunts together. We've shared some of the worst duck hunts you've ever seen where we didn't fire a shot, um, and that's just all part of it. But it is a blessing, and I look forward to it every year being able to share the woods with them. Every duck hunter knows that you can't control the weather, and sometimes it works in your favor, sometimes it doesn't. In our case, we've had some of the most rain in a short period of time that we've had in, in years with more coming. So we've had all sorts of property flooded, the water's way up. You know, we have you know, gates underwater that we're normally driving a Can-Am into to uh, go hunt. So as long as you're with people you care about and you enjoy spending time with, which in our case, 90% of the time hunting with Neil and Dad, uh, you know, time's never completely lost. Everybody wants to go out and shoot limits of ducks, and, that, and that's you know that's that's all fun and games. But you know, and really, those days when you go out and don't shoot much, and the ducks aren't flying, and you shoot one duck here or three ducks here, and you're getting frustrated. Um, when you do finally catch up to them and find the X and find where they are, and you do shoot some ducks, uh, that's what makes it so rewarding. You know, you don't kill them every time you go, but when you finally do and you finally kill them, you know, it just makes all that, you know, all the work you've done in the summer, all the food that you've planted, all, everything adds up and you finally find the ducks and you finally kill the ducks. Uh, it just makes kind of all that come together and it's kind of a cool moment. Well, for us, it's, it's just the most fundamental part of, of our family that, that we could have. I mean, I can't imagine uh, you know, not hanging out at our, our family's cabin or spending time in the woods or missing uh, an open day of turkey season without having uh, you know, all, the, all the guys in our family that 
uh, that hunt together. It's, you know, it's, it's just kind of something that I uh, can't imagine life without. It's part of every year of our life. You know, ducks aluminum is able to affect duck habitat across the whole entire, you know, North America. You know, with that combined with this everyday guy like us, that's just, you know, we have our one little corner of the universe. You know, one person in one corner of the world probably is not going to make a big difference on the duck habitat. But there's a million different ways to help. Um, but without our efforts, hunters' efforts and conservationists' efforts, um, you know, duck, something like ducks, you know, could go away very fast, you know, if, if you know, we weren't careful. There's nothing so powerful as every single person out there that loves this earth taking care of their own piece of it. That's what we're all about, is trying to empower and getting everybody to take their own part, not just because you need to, because you do, and because you have to, because you do have to, but because you want to, that it becomes your favorite pastime. Maybe even over the hunt itself, is taking care of the critters and the land. We call that being a gamekeeper. It's really hard to describe why, I'm asked why this obsession with the land and the dirt and the earth and the critters. And it's more about just letting who you are over time come to the surface. So I can't tell you why. Uh, I can't write a book why that I'm obsessed with uh, being a gamekeeper. It's all the things to do with getting the most out of your life. You know, we get one shot in life. We just don't believe that spending out time, time outdoors, spending time taking care of the outdoors, spending time with the people you love the most outdoors and passing that on to others, uh, we don't think that's wasted time. We think that's the best time well spent.